Hello and welcome. Now, I'm no flat earther. I actually think that flat earth is insane. Like, that's insane to think that the uh, planet that we live on is flat. That's crazy. That's absolutely insane. That being said, I do have some questions for the round earthers out there. So my first question for the round earthers out there is that we only ever see one side of the moon at all times. And mainstream science tells us that the reason we only ever see one side of the moon is because as the, as the earth spins, the moon is orbiting us, but also spinning perfectly in a way that we will only ever see one side of it. Now you might say, oh, Sam, are you an astronomer? What degree do you have? All right, well, all I'm going to say is that I'm smart enough to know that even if the moon were to spin uh, a quarter of a mile faster or slower, gradually with time, we would see the other side of the moon, but we don't. The moon literally spins perfectly, and I'm going to say this again with a P, perfectly around so we only ever see one side. That's crazy. Like, what is the mathematical chances of that? That's by design, guys. Also, if you guys wish to see the dark side of the moon, uh, we can watch it from NASA, but anybody with uh, brain cells knows that this is not real. I mean, you're trying to tell me that this is the moon? The moon takes 27 uh, Earth days to do one cycle around us. This is taking over a four hour period. Like that moon is just flying by. That's not even a moon. Like guys, like what is that? It's like a, it's garbage. It's straight garbage. None of the clouds moves. NASA's a bunch of liars, but we don't have to get into that today. All right. So the other question that I have for the globe earthers, and this one, this one really scares me, is the fact that the two big bodies in our sky are the sun and the moon. And to our naked eye, the sun and the moon are about the same size roughly in our sky. To our naked eye, again, before people start calling me out, again, to the naked eye. Um, the fact that the sun is 400 times larger than the moon, but it's also conveniently 400 times further away. I mean, what's the chances of that? Like, I want some mathematician to tell me right now in the comment section below to tell me what are the chances in that? Like, what is that, like one and zero? Like, what are the chances that the two big bodies in our sky uh, just happen to be the same size to our naked eye because one is 400 times larger, but also 400 times uh, further away so that we can get perfect eclipses? I'm just saying, it's by design. <laughs> like, somebody designed that. That's not, uh, like, what are the mathematical chances of that? The last question that I have for the globe earthers, um, Bill Nye, the science guy, claims that you can prove Earth's curvature by watching ships go over the horizon. Um, but I don't know. There's some stuff out there that says it's otherwise. So let's take this experiment as an example. So I believe it's Niagara. So we got the shore of Niagara, New York, looking across Lake Ontario to the skyline of Toronto. So this is about a 50 kilometer distance or 30 miles. So let's check it out. Now, before you say, Sam, you're cherry picking data, uh, there's a lot of videos out there of people doing this. People all over the world are taking high powered cameras and seeing how far we can see. Like straight up, you can see the whole skyline. Craziness, craziness, man. I, I do just want to pause it for a second. We can use calculators for measuring the curvature of the Earth. So let's take the distance that we're using in the video, which is 50 kilometers. There should be 195 meters of curvature. Same over here if you want to do it in miles. Uh, 30 miles is about 600 feet of curvature. Also, just wanted to be noted that the CN Tower is about 553 meters tall. So as you can see here, we can clearly see the entire CN Tower. Once again, there should be 195 meters of curvature, but you can see the entire thing. Once again, 50 kilometers away.
You can see the entire skyline. Like, it's crazy. There should be 195 meters of, of curvature. But it's not there. That's all I'm saying. I'm not saying the open spot. I'm just saying there should be more curvature than what's shown in this video. And people are doing this all over the world right now. It's craziness, man. Crazy stuff. Absolutely scary. I don't know what else to say other than the fact that I think it's really interesting. Definitely go look into it yourself. Um, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Happy Monday.